Do you crave bakery worthy cinnamon rolls but don't have the time or budget to visit your local shop? Well, right no more. Today we are showing you how to create these delightful treats right in your own kitchen. Step 1. Bloom the yeast. First thing first, we will activate the yeast in a bowl. Mix warm milk, sugar and melted butter. It should not be too hot. Just slightly warmer than your body temperature. Sprinkle yeast on top and stir it in. Let this rest for about 10 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Step 2. Make the dough. Now we will add flour to the yeast mixture and stir it to combine. Don't worry about a few lumps. A smooth dough is not necessary at this point. Cover the bowl and let it rise for an hour in a warm spot. Step 3. Prepare the pan. While the dough rises, preheat your oven to 335 degrees Fahrenheit. Grease your baking pan so the rolls come out easily after baking. Step 4. Making the filling. In another bowl, combine softened butter, brown sugar and cinnamon. Mixing them together first makes spreading it on the dough much easier. Step 5. Roll out the dough. Once the dough has doubled in size, punch it down to release the air. On a lightly floured surface, roll the dough into a large rectangle. Step 6. Spread the filling. Spread the delicious cinnamon sugar mixture evenly over the dough reaching all the corners. Step 7. Roll it up. Here's the trick to perfect salmon rolls. Start from a long edge and roll the dough up tightly into a loaf. Pinch the seam close to seal it. Step 8. Cut and arrange. Use dental floss, you read that right. To cut the dough, log into slices. This gives you clean and even cuts for beautiful rolls. Arrange the rolls in your prepared pan, leaving some space between them for rising. Step 9. Second rise. Cover the pan with a towel and let the rolls rise again for 35 to 45 minutes. This gives them that fluffy texture we all love. Step 10. Bake. Pop the pan into your preheated oven and bake for 25 to 30 minutes or until golden brown. Keep an eye on them to avoid overgrowning. Step 11. Make the frosting. While the rolls bake, whip up some creamy frosting, cream cheese, melted butter, powdered sugar, milk and vanilla extract. Step 12. Cool and frost. Let the rolls cool slightly before frosting them. This prevents the icing from melting everywhere. Drizzle or spread the frosting over the warm rolls and enjoy. Tips Use room temperature cream cheese for a smooth frosting. Less flour is better for a soft dough. Add flour gradually until the dough becomes manageable. Freeze unbaked rolls for up to 3 months. Thaw them overnight before baking. That's it. With these simple steps, you can bake warm delicious cinnamon rolls at home. Subscribe for more yummy recipes and we will see you next time.